Now the, the always the question arises: Can this three-year bachelor degree in India is sufficient to pursue a master's in Germany or not? Now it depends completely on the university's requirement. Some of the universities they clearly mention that they need 180 ECTS in your bachelor studies in order to apply for a master's course, and some specifically mention that they need to have 210 ECTS. Now with a three-year bachelor degree, the most important point is to apply. For only those universities who are asking for 180 ECTS or who have simply mentioned that they should, you should have a relevant bachelor's degree of three years from India. Hi everyone, Anshul this side from RK Rosie Education, and like today I am with Siddharth Shah, one of the student from. Hochschule Fulda University of Applied Sciences, and I've been getting a lot of uh, messages as well as call from the students who are asking me that if I have a three-year bachelor degree in India, will I be able to do a master's degree in international management or any course related to management? So, so that also, let's say, he had a three-year bachelor degree in India in BBA, and then he also had a master's degree as well. So now we're going to understand that how how is this ECTS comes into play and how you can pursue a master's after having a three-year bachelor degree in India itself. So let's welcome Siddharth. Hi, Hi Siddharth, how are you? Hi Anshul, thank you so much for you know giving a brief introduction about me and uh, welcome to Germany. So like he also had uh, this three years of bachelor's in India and here I would like to mention that a three year bachelor degree in India comprises of let's say a maximum between 140 to 150 grade points. Now this grade point system in India it has to be converted into German grading system, which is which is let's say it is called as ECTS here in Germany, European Grade Transfer System. Now the, the always the question arises: Can this three-year bachelor degree in India is sufficient to pursue a master's in Germany or not? Now it depends completely on the university's requirement. Some of the universities they clearly mention that they need 180 ECTS in your bachelor studies in order to apply for a master's course, and some specifically mention that they need to have 210 ECTS. Now with a three-year bachelor degree, the most important point is to apply. For only those universities who are asking for 180 ECTS or who have simply mentioned that they should, you should have a relevant bachelor's degree of three years from India. So let's discuss with Siddharth that how he got admission into this Hochschule Fulda University, even though he had a three-year bachelor degree from India. Yeah. So can you please tell me, Siddharth, like how how did you get admission uh, into a master's course in international management here? Uh, so uh, like graduation, uh, my graduation was of three years, and. Uh, uh like it was it comprised of 158 ECTS and uh, like after that i worked for two years and meanwhile i completed my masters as well so i did my masters uh, from india and uh, therein you know i got 120 ECTS extra so uh, before the admit so for the admit like uh, 180 ECTS was requirement was uh, was required and then uh, you know uh, the unisys uh, they took uh, like uh, one year of my masters And then three years of my bachelor, so it comprised of like uh, four years, and that's why the problem of uh, ECTS was no more. Okay. All yeah. Right. So now this UniSS is basically a centralized application platform which is being accepted by a lot of German public universities. So Hochschule Fulda also takes the application through UniSS only. Now in his case, since he already has uh, a master's degree from India, which had four semesters and comprised of 180 ECTS uh, grade points. Which is why when UNICEF evaluated his application, they took the three years of credit points from his bachelor's degree, and then they also calculated the credit points earned from not not from the complete two years of his master's, but they only took the credit points of one year of his master's studies in India, and the total number of credit points then jumped up to beyond 210 uh, credit points, which helped him to fulfill the requirement of the university in terms of credit points or ECTS. Simultaneously, his grades also improved. The, the the grades were also evaluated by UNICEF by considering his final so, CGPA. Yeah, right, right. Uh, so three years of my bachelor's plus one year of my master's. So it was of uh, like four years, and then inclusive they calculated my uh, GPA. Fine. So now this is what the 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 actual uh, point which I wanted to make in this video that there have been a lot of people who simply believe that with a three year bachelor degree in India you cannot come to Germany, and this is something which many of the counselors are also. Uh, informing the student, which is completely false. Depending on the university requirement, if you are able to fulfill, then you can definitely apply here and get an admission as well. So now it is absolutely clear that there is no need for anyone to be disappointed if you have a three-year bachelor degree from India. You can still pursue your masters from Germany. Also, a small thing like 
in your whatever degree that you have in India, simply multiply your credit points with a factor of 1.2, you'll get the ECDS requirement. And then again, if you have any sort of questions regarding this, if you have any doubts whether you can pursue your masters from Germany or not, you can call us, you can email us, and we'll be surely going to help you on this. So thank you, Siddharth, uh, yeah. for making this video and making this point clear to our uh, viewers as well. And uh, thank you very much.